Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm going to talk about the new updates of ChatGPT4. It's huge. Before I jump into that, there is a bunch of customized AI tools that OpenAI has created. So we have Dolly here, we have data analysis, drop in any files and I can help analyze and visualize your data. This one seems fun. I can quickly explain board games or card games to players of any age. Let the games begin. Or this one here, which helps you become a great negotiator. And then we have, yeah, this one here, like I, like this is crazy because they know that a lot of people is creating coloring books for Amazon KDP and it's bringing in a lot of sales. So they create one of their own. So go hard on these guys. And for the writers out there, I will probably create a video about this one as well. You have something that can help you with creative writing. So let's get into it. I created a free character consistency AI tool. So basically this will help you create the same character in different poses. So I'm still tweaking this a little bit, but like this is already crazy in my opinion because it makes things much easier. So once you're in here, I've created four you can start with or you can write a free text. So they are, I need my character in different scenes. I need various poses and expressions of my character. I need a consistent style for my story. I need my character in different styles. So let's try with, I need my character in different scenes. So what it asks for here is the description of your character. Some things that I have put in place is like facial features, clothing, and any other distinguished attributes. Like if they have a token on them or if they have like something on their hair always around their neck. So it says, absolutely, I can help with that. I'll need some details about your character. If you already have the description of your character, you can just reply with that. Otherwise, what I like to do is just say, create the character for me. Just make sure it's, then you can write whatever you want. So let's say, just make sure it's a teenager ninja in Tokyo. So you can just summarize this description and tell it to create a mid journey prompt for that and tune it if you want and then put it into mid journey. Now we have a description of our character. So appearance is important. Clothing is important. Location is important. Poses and expressions is important. And now it says, would you like me to generate an image of this character based on this profile? Or do you have any specific scenes or poses in mind for the first image? So we can just say this is Perfect. Create the image, please. And what's so cool about this new update is that you have all of the different models together in one place. All right, this is what we got. So here's the image of your teenage ninja character in Tokyo. It captures him crouching on a rooftop at night, overlooking the city in line with the character profile we discussed. So let's see here. Various urban environments in Tokyo, ranging from bustling streets to quiet rooftops at night and so on. Yeah, now we can just say this character's name is Bob. Can you create Bob running on rooftops? Now hopefully we'll get an image of this character running on rooftops. All right, it's not the same style. So what we can say is give me the gen ID of the first image you gen and use that to create this scene again. So what I'm trying to do here is to use one of the new features and you can basically take the gen ID of this image and you use that number to generate another scene in the same style. So it might be closer, but it's still not there. This looks much, much better. It is closer to these images here. It looks more consistent. Now I tried this yesterday for the first time and let me show you some of the things that i got so i started the conversation with i need various poses and expressions of my character and again it asks for some descriptions i told to create this for me and draw inspiration from a girl born in a cold place and having beautiful eyes absolutely i can craft a character profile and so on and then it started to do its thing and i said it's perfect and it created this image then i said now i want you to create this character in different scenes and poses and it said great and now it wanted me to describe the environment the character pose and so on i said you can choose and it created another scene and it's pretty close to this one and then I said, great, can you create more scenes? A scene where she discovers a cottage, another where she is running from a beer. So we got this one here and then we got this one. These are really cool. Um, and then I said, create another one where she has climbed up a tree and the bear is underneath her. It didn't quite get that. Like Some of the things are still pretty good, but it's not so close. 
Then I told it to create three more images of her in different scenes and I got this one here and this one here that were really really good. So yeah, with that said, you should definitely try some of these customized uh, GPTs and you can try out this tool for free. I will leave the link in the description down below. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one guys. Bye bye.